Hi guys, this is Earthplay from terraformingearth.net and you're watching the Southwest Backpacker YouTube channel over the beautiful Rio Grande Valley. DLA, which uh, stands for the Very Large Array. As you can see behind uh, Candyman Raj is uh, satellite dishes. And, uh, yeah, these things are huge. They probably stand up, uh, I don't know, 75 feet or more. And you can hear it probably moving as we speak. Uh, yeah, this is the ones looking north. They run on this, they slide along this railroad track. And, uh, this is where they're sighted the more. Okay, so we made it past the plains of St. Augustine, and we're now arriving into the town of Daddle. And uh, this is a real old town. It's just a gas station and a uh, general store, and a little restaurant right here, and a little flashing light. Uh, it's been up here ever since I was a little kid. This place is uh, pretty much exactly the way I left it since the last time I was up here. It's uh, pretty cool. What's the gas prices over here? Two fifty-three. Yep. There's the general store, and uh, we're continuing on U.S. 60 going west. We're going to head out a few more miles and uh, look for the Forest Service Road uh, 6A, which will be on our right. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get into some new country here. Thumbs up. We've got Candyman Raj with us today. We got, road trip. got Asia with us today. Uh, got the Southwest Backpacker. There's Forest Road 6A. Yep, this is it right here. So, you can see right at the beginning of the road. Zoom in there, it says uh, Sawtooth Mountains. Three miles, Forest Road 6A. So we're heading on in. Three miles to the Sawtooths. Stay, stay tuned. So the figure that I got here is Coronado and Odie. And the figure on the right is Coronado. That's him, uh, the Spanish conquistador with the backpack on. And uh, his dog, Odie, to the left of him, following behind him. And uh, yeah, that was a feature my dad showed me my first time when I came up here to the Sawtooth Mountains. So that's known uh, as Coronado, Coronado and Odie. Yeah, thumbs up. There we go, Sawtooth Mountains. The official sign. And uh, yeah, got some good views of that. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be camping right next to that big old guy there in this uh, open meadow, and I've seen a lot of elk and uh, heard a lot of coyotes out here. Just an awesome place to 
spend a couple evenings. So, yeah, we'll, so we'll set it up here when we get close to camp. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So we're gonna take the uh, dirt road, follow it uh, as far as we can, and it'll eventually get us close to the big claw there. Uh, there's a really nice hike that takes you behind that that we might do uh, tomorrow, maybe later on today, who knows. But uh, it's a neat, a neat hike and we'll uh, take you along that hike, so that'll be a good adventure there. Yeah, rock formations out here are really neat. You can see the layers. Bumpy, bumpy road. This road is nasty when it gets wet. To the right of me here is Monument Rock. And uh, there she stands in all her glory. It's a pretty neat feature. As we were driving past it, you can see a crack that goes right down the center of it. You can see daylight through, all the way through to the other side. So it's kind of split. morning sawtooth mountains the coffee's gone the sun's up looks like it's gonna be a great day it'll be a great day out here out here in the uh, Daddle mountains sawtooth mountains and uh, we're gonna take a hike up into the canyon here shortly and it should be a good hike uh, got a nice day today and it shouldn't be too windy so looking forward to it should be good looking forward to it yes, sir Asia's looking forward to it as well. She's ready to go. Don't leave without me. Don't leave without me. Okay, so we just got into the mouth of the canyon here. And uh, we're going around the big rock face here. But uh, yeah, I think we've been on the trail here about 10 minutes and we're just following it up. Eventually this will stop and become uh, an arroyo that you got to hike up. But it's really cool back here so... recording everything on my cell phone got the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 and uh, yeah just testing out the video quality I'm hoping uh, if it comes out looking good that this might be a decent replacement for the Canon Vixia that I carry around it's a great camera it's got great zoom but it's bulky and a little bit heavy and this would be a decent uh, in camp camera I think and maybe on the trail Here just found the widow maker 
we were looking at this and uh yeah he wouldn't want to be camping underneath this thing when the wind was blowing big giant ponderosa pine that's dead Let's see where it cracked off up there it's a pretty good sized branch i'd say so Yeah, there's another big one here that's still alive. Awesome. We're going to continue on the uh, royal up here. And where it takes us. Here's another big dead granddaddy ponderosa pine that's dead. Huge. Bear, maybe a bear, maybe lightning. Probably just falling off from, uh, yeah. yeah I'd say, uh, some elk droppings right there. Kind of old, but, uh, nonetheless, not elk droppings. Oh yeah, look, get some more up here. There was elk that was uh, walking through here at one time. This time of year, they shed their antlers, and so we might stumble across uh, some antler shed. That would be kind of neat. Got a hold of this uh, big ponderosa pine tree here. Probably not all that long ago. And crashing down, these pieces hanging off the other tree that's up there. The way that thing splintered out. Crazy.
for a drink of water. Into the trail. Into the trail. We could go further, but uh, it's a little windy and we're a little winded out ourselves. And uh, yeah, we thought we would call this a good spot to take a nice break and go to the turnaround spot. So, no shame in that. So, uh, All right, so we're, uh, we just finished up with the break. We're heading back down the trail. We didn't uh, manage to top out, but that's okay. We're uh, we're heading back down. As you can hear, it's pretty windy outside. It's uh, not as calm as it was yesterday, but it's okay. We're down here, and the wind is not bad here, but you can hear it above us. So I think we'll be protected, even, even back at camp. But uh, yeah, this is cool. Trying to navigate our way around all of these uh, low downs that you see here. And these are old, and a few of these that we've run into have been recent. Uh, more elk scat. Anyway, we're uh, continuing on our hike back down to camp, and uh, yeah, this is a good, uh, good, nice long day hike. If you guys ever come out to the Sawtooth Mountains, kind of recognize that uh, area I was showing you earlier. Get back into this uh, canyon, really cool. Bumped into a tree and uh, got myself a little bloodshed on the ear there. I don't think it's anything big, but uh, well, bloodshed nonetheless. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so uh, we're sitting out here in the wilderness, and we've got some uh, Angus steak burgers on the grill, and uh, cooking these guys up. Close that up. Here we have the Southwest Backpacker doing Gila Angus burgers. Gila Angus burgers. That'll. That, that, yeah. That'll delight burgers. The sawtooth burger. Sawtooth burger.
Hi, this is Matt from the Southwest Backpacker Channel, and I'm Roger the Canyon Man, and we wanted to send a special shout out to our friend Earthplay over at Revolution Radio. He does uh, a show the first hour every Monday and Tuesday from 2 to 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Please, if you get a chance, go check him out at freedomslips.com. And that's Revolution Radio. He does a show called Liberation Nation. What he said, keep up the great work. Thumbs up.